All right, I'm gonna show you how to apply a nice blur effect to create a really cool dynamic background to capture on top of. It's subtle, but it makes a difference. Okay, let's do it. I wanna start by choosing a color. I'm gonna choose this nice blue here. Any color works for this, so choose your choose whatever colors you like. We're gonna be using three. And I'm just gonna create a mark across the top of the page like that, so it's connecting to both edges of the, of the canvas. And then I'm just gonna do a color drop so it fills with that color. Now I'm gonna move on to my next color. I'm gonna choose this orange, and I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna kinda of overlap that first color and create another line there and do a drop. And I'm gonna do a third color. Let's see, I like this magenta here. Um, nice fun color and I'm just gonna fill the bottom of the page with that color. So I have three different colors on my page and this is pretty extreme in terms of the look. I want this to be soft and blurred and beautiful. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, you're gonna go up to this little button that looks like a little wand with some stars for your adjustments options and I'm gonna choose the Gaussian blur. I probably butchered that pronunciation so just don't mind that. Is it Gaussian? I don't know. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna select layer. And now I'm just gonna move my pencil over to the right. And you'll notice that as I move my pencil, I'm sliding it over to the right, the colors start to blur together to the point where you can have them super blurred or just a little bit. So you can kind of find that sweet spot. I like it right there, that's at 52.9%. I mean, this is already just really pretty. It's like a sunset feel. I like what's going on here. I might reduce the opacity of this layer so it's not as bright, but this just creates a really fun background to capture on. And of course, depending on the kind of colors that you do, the effect is really nice, especially if you blend this with a drawing that you're doing. Like I could do a landscape here and have, the options are really, endless so this is just one of those cool effects that can add more of a dynamic texture to your canvas without really doing a lot other than just like drawing some colors and then blurring them together okay so that's how i create nice color blurs for the background of my visual notes that i'll then go and capture on top of and it will just look so pretty and wonderful